Took a trip out to Cali to hang with the creeps, make a play and get high off that Zaza. I say R.I.P. Kobe, a d so fly when I ball out, f***ing where I skydive. Shot with chicken on me, could've went by the Williams, the Rudy's a big Popeye. In a whole different bracket, this life is immaculate. If you hit me for both, then you know that I'm taxing. Keep buying clothes, that shit's still in the packages. If he say that he robbed Today we're gonna go do an off-road car show, show off the Suburban a little. Just got up at uh, say 5.30 in the morning, it's about 6.10, 6.15, we've got this amazing campsite, but cloud just rolled in, sun's coming up here in about 10, 15 minutes. I don't think there's gonna be a lot to see. So let's head into town and get this day started. It's about 6.45, gonna drink coffee for a couple minutes here, warm up, and then we're gonna pull everything out of the car and organize it. So we're headed over to uh, Poly Performance here in San Luis Obispo for the Java Jeeps and Trucks event. Sweet, now I know it's gonna be back here. I was uh, ready a day early. We'll be back tomorrow. Took advantage of that miscalculation of dates, crushed a workout, and I'm heading into work. All right, it's not like going to work is too darn bad. So I was gonna take you up to my campsite from last night, which has a beautiful view and it is gonna be clear skies tomorrow. But there's people out jamming, there's good times happening around my original campsite. I just kind of drove back here by habit. Here's a funny development for the morning. Of course, I forgot it was 420, so we were going to try to hit the dispo right before the truck show. But check it out. There's a bit of a line here today. Down to the minute. We're going to make it in and out of the dispo just in time to hit the truck show. Sun has come out. DJ is popping. Life is good. Check out these rides. What everybody's saying. Well, that was a fun event. Got a couple new subscribers, met some cool people. Hopefully I'll uh, meet up with a couple of them to create some content. Now, I'm headed down to work. Town is a bit backed up. This is more of what I was expecting life to look like down here. This is good. Well, parking was just as ridiculous as I thought it would be, but we're here. Time to go make some money. All right, I had just a half a free second. Check out the view at work today. You know what I'm in the middle of now. Obviously, I'm not gonna be doing a job like that for a huge amount of my uh, livelihood throughout my life. But for a few months, I'm gonna have an experience. Well, today I decided to go grab some uh, different gear to wear to work and I get to play my own music at work. I get to wear what I want. So why not have a little bit of fun with it? The sun's finally starting to go down, and I can't get away with the flamingo tank top anymore, but man, just grateful for this moment, you know? We got a lot of different phases in life, and I'm going to enjoy every second of this summer. I had to call an audible. I was spending over $30 a day in gas commuting from my little mountaintop paradise I found down to my oceanfront paradise for work. And that was just extremely cost prohibitive. I had kind of a, a moment of worry, started thinking what's the solutions. For $50 I get an annual pass to the off highway uh, vehicle park here which allows me out onto the beach and the dunes during the day. And it also gets me, um, you know, day pass for night camping, which is $5 a night out here. So I'm gonna be spending a good amount of my time down here on the beach, as well as out on the sand dunes for the rest of this amazing summer. There's definitely something going on with one of my rear brakes. I got some brake pads and tools to hopefully make this an easy job. I was gonna take you to a mountaintop with a beautiful view over the bay to do this work, but there's just been a lot of weird mishaps in the last few weeks. 
I just want to make sure that this goes good or if anything does become a problem, I'm somewhere where I can solve it easily. So we're going to do this in the parking lot of a really cool park. I don't know if you're really allowed to do this, but we're going to make it happen. All right, got my tunes in. This isn't too complex of a job, but you know, when you're doing it on the uh, side of the road or in a park, it's interesting how uh, easy things can become a little bit more challenging sometimes. We'll see what we can do if we can get out of here without getting ourselves in any trouble and uh, hopefully get rid of this noise and on to the next thing. I'm telling you, man, this stack of crazy things that have happened to me here, it's the type of stuff that can really get to you, but when I think about it, none of it really matters. Not really. All the important things are great. I'm sure growing a lot along this journey, I believe in all these ideals of stoicism. I sure haven't mastered them yet, but when challenges arise, you know, once I catch my breath, I find them as times to really practice and develop those virtues. I've started to say prayers of thank you for the challenges that I've overcome. And, uh, you know, right when I felt like I hit a point where I got past all this stuff, I got slapped with another thing today and, and I just smiled. I was just grateful for everything good that's going on, you know. It's times of up and times of downs and sometimes those, uh, those downs keep hitting you, but you get past it. And I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do with my life right now. Wait till you see what this turns into. I think they were overdue. That's what his Kansas boys call some Oklahoma engineering. I'm gonna make do with uh, whatever I have in front of me. Hopefully that's got it squished in far enough. Boom. Look at that. I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Decided to come back to the new home base and take a little nap for a minute. This is the new place I'm calling home most days and most nights now. Even though all these weird mishaps have been happening lately and it, it you know, it's affected me. Fear and self-doubt kind of let themselves in for a minute, but then I just started realizing how amazing all of the parts of this that I've manifested. This is the exact vision that I had. And it's even really better than I could have imagined. You know, I've got my Wi-Fi here. I've got everything I need to live. I can sit out here and work and focus in one of the best creative environments possible on the side of the ocean. When all these little things hit, you know, I just have to look around and realize what really matters. The bumps in the road I've hit in the last week or two won't be the last ones I hit. I'm getting better at letting it affect my energy far less. That's part of the journey, growing. I got a big list of priorities, but number one is always fitness. I'm gonna go hit the gym up, get cleaned up, work out with some grease stains on my skin and get it all washed off afterwards. Crush that workout and uh, we're back to the beach now. I've got some uh, finances to deal with as well as some freelance work. I'd love to say I'll work on some of my own content tonight, but we'll see how far along I can get. Um, let me just show you what it looks like outside. What a cool place to make your office, huh? You know, you can really do this. You can really do things like this. If you have a vision, you dedicate yourself to it and get through the challenges. And there have been a lot. And there have been times when I needed, uh, you know, friends or family to kind of remind me to keep going, but I'm here. This is the life I've created. This is the vision that I brought to fruition. And even if I only do this for a few more months before I take a break and figure out the next steps, I'll be looking back on this at the end of my life with uh, pride and joy.
Yeah.